and welcome to the latest in-depth collection of video. In this video I'll be covering the Shameless Films titles, mainly DVDs but there are also some Blu-rays. And Shameless, although they haven't released anything for a while, have released quite a few films and mainly focusing on horror. There are about 35, 36 DVDs and three Blu-rays. Start with the first one. This is New York Ripper. Not really many extras on the on these films, but see they've all got the same style sleeves. I think some of these have got reversible sleeves, but I'm not sure which ones have. I don't know, some of these have been re-released or will be re-released with different artwork. That's the first one. Next one. This is Phantom of Death. And these are all the same numbers, so it's number two. Again, it's the back of the sleeve. Actually, the ones I have reversible sleeves do say there, and there's a picture, but uh, I've left them on the standard artwork. Number three, this is Killer Nun. I think most of these films are uncut, I think some might have slight cuts. Um, but the ones that do would be cut anyway because of the BBFC rulings. But where they can get them uncut, they have done that. So there are some extra features on some of these, but that one's got an interview. There are some Dario Argento films in this series as well. Number four is Torso. Some of these have been released in a box set of either two or three titles. Number five, Venus in Furs. And the actual artwork sort of mimicking the old VHS style covers. Okay, that one's got a reversible sleeve. A lot of these films actually, as far as I'm aware, haven't been released before in this country. Or not too in a decent format. Not to say all the transfers on these films are brilliant, but... Most of them are okay. Number six, this is The Black Cat. And there's the back of that. Again, a reversible sleeve on that one. Most of these films are 18 rated. There are some 15s in there, but only about two or three, I think. The rest, the rest are 18. Next is Five Year the Heretic. That's number seven. Number eight. This is Manhattan Baby. I think most of these as well are region zero, region three, so should play on US DVD players. Number nine, got nice train murders. There's the back of that one.
Number 10, got the Frightened Woman. I wasn't originally going to buy these a while back, and I think I'd read something about the transfers and sort of put me off buying them. But once I bought all the Arrow titles, then I decided to start getting these and picked a lot of these up quite cheap in FOP and I bought some online as well. Number 11 is My Dear Killer. There's the back of that one. Number 12, got Ratman. Enjoy that one actually, I watched that, I think it was early this year. Number 13, I think it's 13, yeah, what, what have they done to your daughters? Back of that one. Number 14, Who Saw Her Die? That one. Number 15, The de Designated Victim. And this is a Seamus fan edition, some of these are. Not too sure what the difference with those are. I think the Seamus fan edition ones, probably the ones with the Extra features on. So there, and there's the back of that one. Number 16, which is a strip nude for your killer. There's the back of that one. Number 17, which is Oasis of Fear. One, I think. Some details about there. Some of these actually, see that one there, have got um, the footage which has been put in to restore the film to either its original length or as near as they can get it. This is number 18, which is What's Me When I Kill, again a fan edition one, which is why there's extras on there, there's the back of that one. Next is number 19, and this is Baba Yaga, the final cut. There's some more extra feet on this one, getting a uh, reversible sleeve. There's the back of that one. Number 20. This is Footprints on the Moon. Again, this one. Shameless cut of the film. There's the back of that one. Number this one. Number 21, I haven't got, I think it's one of these with a lenticular sleeve or it's the box set one. So next one's 22. And this is Love Goddess of the Cannibals. Again, seamless edit of the film. Reversal sleeve and there's a back cover. Number 23. Fucking focuses on this. Oh. Yeah, Satan's baby doll. And there's the back. It is quite dark in this room normally when it gets a bit later so I'll have to put the lights on it's not perfect with the lighting in here and also the 
guess a bit of glare. Uh, Mert 24, this is the beast in space. Again, there's the details, the features on there. And there's the back cover. You'll see the problem having the back door open as well is all the noise from outside comes through. And always seems to be a siren going off when I have the door open for some reason. Number 25, this is the Bronx Warriors. This is one of the 15 rated films. Actually, I think this is the only 15 rated film in the collection. And there's the back of that one. Again, foundation, so it's got some extra features on there. Next up is number 26. And this is Escape from the Bronx. And there's the back. So some of these directors have also been released on the Arrow label, their films. And some of these, I think, directors haven't had Arrow video releases. Uh, this is number 27. This is the New Barbarians. These aren't all necessarily horror films as such. Back of that one. I'll say some of these have been re-released uh, re with different artwork. Um, probably not bother about getting them, but I'll have a look to see what they're like. This is number twenty-nine. So again, twenty-eight. I think might be one of the ones in the box set. This is a New York, New York Ripper. What I tend to do with these is buy the releases separate around the box set. On there. Now this is a re-released version of the New York, uh, New York Ripper. Um, the one I showed you first, number one, that is now out of print. I managed to pick it up while it's still available. Oh. So I've got that in my collection but I don't know how freely available it is now. But I'll show you why I've got it as well in a minute. Number 30, this is The Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward. Again, there's the back. These have all got these QR, I think, these, I think they've all got these QR codes at the back, and obviously this one has. Just scans it, I think, takes you to their website. Next up is number 31. It's the Cannibal Holocaust. This one is, I think, two discs. Yeah, it's two discs. So the extras are on the other disc because there's two versions on here. Uh, the director's read it, I think, because that's the one I watched. That's the one where some of the animal cruelty has been taken out. I think it's a slightly shorter version because of that. Number 32.1. This is almost human. Now this, this was the one I think was um, Atlantic Killer number 32 itself. Which I don't think I can find anywhere. I have been looking for it. I don't think it's online anymore. I think it's all sold out. Back of that one. Next up is number 33. Don't torture a duckling. Did Lucio Fulci. Um, definitely on the Arrow video release. Some of his films. There's the back of that one. I think some of these films are not this all in English. 
some of these are Italian number 34 the house on the edge of the park there's the back of there so a lot of these films when they originally came out were banned so they've only had probably their first release through Shameless Next up number 35, this is Dario Argento, again another director who features in the Arrow video catalogue. This is Four Flies on Grey Velvet. Again some extra features on there. First of all sleeve, there's the back of that. There's three more of the DVDs to show. Number 36 is De La Morte De La More, also known as the Cemetery Man. There's the back of that one. I'd say some of the artwork on this probably not suitable for children. And then the last two are ones that were released most recently. And again, that was a few months ago. Probably actually the end of last year or beginning of this year. This is number 37. This is Amsterdam. And there's that one. The final one is number 38. And this is the house with the laughing windows. And there's the back of that one. You can see the features. Now, I know, I think it's been um, probably six, seven months since the last release of the film. I know they've got a couple more announced, but I've not seen them up for pre-order yet. I'm not sure what the titles are, but I think they're DVD only. But the reason I bought number one was because, you can see, it's got the Shameless logo running across the spine. They all, um, I think that's the nuclear symbol logo on there. So it all looks nice on there. The 21, don't think that's part of the image, but that's, I think that's the one of the box set ones and a couple of the other numbers that aren't there are I think, box set ones, so I've not bought them because they've got the films separately. That's, that's the DVDs, um, there's three Blu-rays and they're over here. The first one, again, the New York Ripper. This is the Blu-ray release of this, and this is basically the same as the second release DVD. I think most of these have got a booklet of some sort. This one has anyway. Number two, again another one which is on DVD. This is Cannibal Holocaust. There's the back of that one. And number three, the Dario Argento title, Four Flies on Grey Velvet. I say they've only released these three Blu rays, I'm not sure they've got any more announced. I uh, don't know why they haven't released any more, but hopefully there will be some more coming out. Uh, there's no spine image running across those, but they are different to normal Blu-rays because they need their yellow cases, so they stand out better. And again, the DVDs say are in the same yellow cases, so that's that's all their releases so far. Hopefully, I'll say there'll be some more coming out later this year. Um, what I'll do, so if there's any more of these titles come out, I will do a separate video. Uh, it'll be part two, but I'll probably wait till there's a few more titles. Because I don't really want to do them for one or two, because 
not much point so if they release probably I'll probably wait on about another five or ten titles and I'll do another video showing the other ones that's the same release there as usual please rate comment and subscribe I have got some more of these um, in-depth videos planned to got quite a few on to do but say so they take me about 20 minutes so I can't actually do two minutes at a time which is why I'm probably going to be doing one or two possibly three a month and not decided what I'm going to do next but stay tuned and you'll find out so until my next video thanks for watching